Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna very quickly check out dollar volume, which is a indicator that I have on my watch list and on my scanner to better help me identify what's moving and really what's hot. On the screen right now, you can already see that we have a dollar volume column right here for the scanner. Usually there will be a bunch of stocks right here when the market's open, but right now, since it's pre-market, um, and this scanner is not set for pre-market, there is nothing showing here. Here's a little screenshot of what this page usually would look like once the markets are open. And then over here in my watch list, let me just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger, uh, maybe something right around here. You can see that I also have dollar volume in this column. Now, the reason I like dollar volume more than just normal volume is because it gives me a little bit more information. And let me quickly give you guys an example of what I mean by that. So over here, we have SCOR, a ticker that we are actually overnight right now. And then if you go to charts and check out SCOR, you will see that yesterday, their volume right down here was just about uh, 3 million, right? So if you saw 3 million here, you would have to then calculate 3 million by 3.96, their last traded price to get the dollar volume 11.8. I mean, fairly simple calculation, but let's say you have a bunch of stuff on your watch list and some of these smaller cap companies, especially um, when you're dealing with a few cents, like this one, SRNA, is only nine cents and they're trading just millions and millions of dollars of shares simply because their stock is so cheap. You'll just have a very overwhelming kind of a watch list with a bunch of different volumes. And although you could do the calculations, it's not very intuitive and it's not very quick. When I'm trading, I like to make my charts as efficient as possible. So I made this dollar volume column and then I could see no matter what the last price is and no matter how many shares are being traded, I can quickly compare all of these different stocks based on their dollar volume. So I see CLVS has some of the most dollar volume um, and then NIO and then XNet. That way I can very easily compare these different stocks based on their dollar volume. While their volume of actual shares traded could be a little bit confusing in identifying which one is being traded the most. Okay, so let me go back to the scanner. Let me move this back and let me show you guys how you can go ahead and edit this dollar volume if you want to add it yourself. So all you have to do is go to whichever table you want to add it to and click this little gear icon at the top right. Then you click customize. And then once you're here, you need to go to the available items table and type in custom. You will see a bunch of fields that you can customize. Now what you need to do is simply add one of these fields to your current set. So all of your fields that currently show on your table. To do that, all you have to do is double click it or click add item when it's selected. And then just go ahead and click OK. Now you will see that in this area right here, you can see custom four. So if you wanna go ahead and edit this custom field, all you have to do is right click it uh, make sure not to left click it or else you're going to sort by it. So let me say no sorting and let me actually put it back to change so I don't forget about that later. And then just click edit formula. And I was already kind of playing around with this a little bit. So there is already the formula uh, inside here. Um, but all you have to do now is go to think script editor. In the video description below, I added the formula that you will need. So go ahead and copy that formula. What you will probably be seeing is either an empty field here or some demo information. Feel free to delete that and then just go ahead and copy what we have. I like to change the name as well to dollar volume, but you can make it whatever you want. And then just make sure this is selected on a day. This is the time interval. And then for the price, just make sure it's last. Also guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you find this free content helpful. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon too so you'll get notified about trading videos like this in the future. Let's quickly go through the formula. We are plotting our variable dollar volume which equals a rounded number and that number 
is for the last 12 hours. So 12 hours, you might be wondering why is that? So the market opens at 4 a.m. technically with extended hours. So if you add that to the market open time, so that's five and a half hours because the market opens at 9.30 and it closes at four. So that's a total of you know five and a half plus six and a half, so 12 hours. And you times that by the volume that happened within that time. And then you just divide that by a million. The reason we want to divide it by a million is because we want to have a number that shows a million in the end. If you look over here, it says 11.8. So just keep in mind that is 11.8 million. And we also don't want too many decimal places. So we rounded the number of digits to one. And then all you need to do is go ahead and click apply. And now you will have your new column over here. And just to show you guys that that's all that is required is if we just make this a little bit bigger again, we can go over here, click customize, and then we can go to custom. You'll see all our custom ones over here. And you'll see this new one, dollar volume. Just go ahead and add that very quickly. And here you can see it's 11.8. Now there's one more way to do this. And if you guys noticed when I was editing this dollar volume, if I quickly go here and edit it again, I can go ahead and click share. So that is exactly what I did. I went ahead and shared this and I got a link for it that I can share with you guys. So in the video description below, you can get that shareable link. And once you have a shareable link, you can always upload it by going to setup and say open shared item. Just click here and then you can preview it. Um, think or swim dollar volume open. And now pretty much do the same exact thing where you go here, customize, you type in custom. Oh, it would help if I knew how to spell custom. And then these are all the things that we imported. So you can see that I've already tried doing this several times to confirm uh, before making this video, but that's basically it. So guys, those are the two ways you can add a custom field. And in this case, the dollar volume field to your TD Ameritrade so you can more efficiently scan the stocks that are moving. Honestly, once I started using the dollar volume, I can't even remember what it was like before I had dollar volume. I really, really like it. And it's definitely an indicator, or I guess you can say a field that I'm gonna be using all the time. I just wanna give a quick little shout out to my friend Mike, who I met at the Trader Investor Summit in Orlando this year, 2019. He was the one who showed me this metric, how the formula works and how to add it to my Thinkorswim account. So again, Mike, I am super grateful for that. If you guys wanna follow Mike, I left his Twitter in the video description below. It's Daily Stock Fix, so you can go ahead and follow him here. Let me know what some of your favorite custom fields are on Thinkorswim or any broker. And let me know what you guys think about the dollar volume. Definitely leave some comments below. I am super curious to see what you guys have to say. All right, guys, I got to start getting ready for the market open at 9, 10. I'm going to go live, review the morning watch list, and then do some live trading as well. If you have not checked one of those videos out, we go live every day at 9, 10. So I will see you there. Till then, guys, stay safe and make some awesome trades. Ciao, ciao.